Hey, what's going on? Welcome back to another video where we talk about Bitcoin, the price action and understanding technical analysis all under five minutes. So we're looking at what we're looking at on Saturday. Two days has passed. What we talked about on that day was we were looking at the one hour chart, one candle equals one hour. And then we're looking at the descending channel that was occurring. So what we said for this descending channel to finish was a break above, a retest, and then a move to the upside. So that was what we drew. Basically, if you remember, we just drew something that looked exactly like this break retest, and that's what we said, bang, like that. And we got that. We wanted to see for bullish behavior, we wanted to see that pair with a negative funding rate. So we wanted everybody else to start going bearish here. People starting to aggressively short the Bitcoin price. You no, know, we've talked about before, what would take the most amount of money from the most amount of people has the highest probability of happening in these markets. Sometimes that can be a long drawn out pain though. Um, and it could be a long form of punishment. So it could be like dragging people and the price all the way up, getting the most people to pile in. So it doesn't necessarily, that saying doesn't necessarily mean to be you know, within the space of a week. What would hurt the most people within this week is gonna happen. Could, but you could look at it from a larger time frame. So say Bitcoin pumps for the next six weeks and that drags the most people in to buy at that six week period. You would have had six weeks of green, but then eventually that would, will have in turn hurt the most amount of money, people, taking the most amount of money from the most amount of people. It is what it is. Uh, and so more, more people are impatient than they are patient. So therefore it will take the money from the impatient and give to the patient. So what we're looking at here right now is funding rate. Um, we're looking at the normal funding rate and then we're looking at the predicted funding rate. So what we saw here was a decent chunk, a full day basically of aggressively uh, bearish funding rates of people shorting the market more than longing, uh, wanting to short more than long. So paying the interest, paying the funding rate. And what we're seeing here now is the funding rate is still remaining red and trending to the downside. So while Bitcoin does stall on this little ledge that we're looking at right now, it's giving enough time for people to think, hang on, I wanna jump in on this short, it's going lower. Um, we've had a little bit of a peak up here, but we'll see how that plays out when it transcribes onto the real funding rate. So that's a cautionary tale right there. Um, the Kingfisher liquidity map, we'll be talking about that further with the members and the blockchain bulls. Uh, the price action come out a little bit further. We can see that there was a knot formed on these large rises, these huge price pumps. They form a knot and then they make the distribution pattern. One more time, we'll talk about it. The Chinese Ching Chong Dong Long. If you done long, you was wrong. Okay, that's how, that, that's how it's uh, <laughs> translated. Um, but these have a huge probability of coming back, retesting and trying to untie this knot. This works on all time frames, especially the bigger ones because uh, yeah, it's a lot slower. If the knot is too tight, uh, the price will go up. If the knot is easily loosened, not enough buying pressure, a loose amount of buy pressure, it'll go through. So it says coming through to judgment day, there is something else I wanted to show you and that was just the RSI, right? So we talked about the RSI on the one hour the other, in the, the other day where we were looking at how it was creeping up very high to not have much room to base and then push off off. We've had a nice little bit of a come down. We're down um, at the moment on the RSI at about 50. But when it comes to the four hour chart, if we're looking at the RSI, what I would like to see on the RSI, which would be pretty bearish, uh, bullish actually, paired with this negative funding rate would be another swipe of the lows uh, and then putting in some bullish divergence. So you got a low there and then this will be a higher low and this will be like that. So lower low on the price, higher low on the RSI, on the four hour large time frame serious big business come in for another grab at some liquidity hit some more stops uh, and then boost off there even a th even a third case that would actually be more bullish for me honestly if this just fucks around like this for a while uh that's that would be probably be more bearish for me personally because of what the repercussions of that the the running up of the rsi and the stochastic we can talk more about that the, that other indicator later but when that goes all the way up there's just a lot more room for it to fall and then also the bear flag that comes. So this can start, I'm getting a bit messy right now. But when it comes to larger time frames like the four hour that we're talking about, if this keeps walking its way up like this in, a in another channel, 
uh, that's called a bear flag. That is called a bear flag, uh, and that will not be good. It'll be keep it'll be keep cruising up, fill this gap potentially, and then have a lot more room and steam to roll down. What I would rather see is this come and base in another low soon, and then start working on some divergence for a real move for a real run to the upside. Anyway. That's within five minutes. I'll see you in the blockchain bulls. And just one last second while I've got you here, have a look at this huge altcoin gain that we had. Blockchain bulls posted this week, DSLA protocol altcoin gains. That was 15 days, 11 days and 15 hours. Sorry, 11 days, 15 hours. Trade setup posted right there. Details of the entry, bang, 235%. Huge. That is trade of the week.